Governor Eddie Calvo has concerns with Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz's budget bill. Calvo says that the budget cuts could result in furloughs. The Vice Speaker says the cuts are necessary because the money simply isn't there. And he doesn't believe that his budget will cause any furloughs. The Vice Speaker says his budget gives all the agencies, in the very least, the same amount of money they received for this fiscal year. Here's more. Maybe if somebody suggested the only person that should be laid off is the kid that keeps crying wolf. Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz doesn't believe his substitute budget bill, which cuts spending, will result in any furloughs. The governor's office issued a press release citing concerns with Cruz's version of the budget. According to Adeloup, quote, a $60 million cut of department's budgets will trigger draconian measures to include furloughs of current staff. He has made this claim four times in the six years that he's been governor. He did this last summer. He did it in 2011 and 2012. He even signed an executive order. It's a rerun. This is the same line that he used last year when I reduced this budget by 40 million. And I will repeat what I said last year. If the 40 million comes in sometime during the year, I would be the one to be, be willing to be the sponsor of the bill to supplement the budget f with that additional 40 million. Again this year, if the 60 million comes in, I will be the one to increase it. But as we saw this year, we're not going to make this year's um, budget uh, uh, projection. Governor Calvo also called the substitute bill, quote, a stack of papers with a bunch of numbers. And with it, the legislature is essentially telling me and my administration to find the money for essential services without a valid revenue source, end quote. And the governor also wrote that out of all the concerns, the most, quote, glaring is the abdication of responsibility in the actual creation of the budget. We're not abdicating anything. We are fulfilling our responsibility of determining what the revenue was going to be, and we are allocating it to each of the departments that we believe should be receiving whatever is appropriate amount. The vice speaker says if the money is there, He'll appropriate it. We can only work with what numbers we have. Unfortunately, I was trained in a field and had 17 years on the bench where I can only deal with the evidence that's before me. Extrajudicial information doesn't count. It's just what is actually before me. And that's all I can work with. This morning, lawmakers went through Cruz's budget bill and there were no objections to the vice speaker's budget projections to read more of the governor's concerns with the measure, log on to the Pacific News Center.com.